Akkad bakkad bambe bu, asi nabbe pure so. Is this how you're planning to solve the questions in UGC net exam that you have zero knowledge about? Well, if yes, then this video is for you. If not, then still this video is for you. Hey friends, my name is Arpata Karva and welcome back to your favorite channel for UGC net exam preparation. Today, I'm going to tell you a secret strategy a mystery source on how to solve MCQ questions in UGC net exam. Well, MCQs are a great way to score well. Earlier, UGC net exam used to happen in subjective mode. The disadvantage of a subjective paper was that it was too lengthy and energy draining. On the other hand, objective exam or MCQ type exam is a blessing for UGC net aspirants. But over the years, a lot of students have brought this concern to me that ma'am, how do we solve such questions? A lot of them even panic in the exam hall and are unable to get through the entire exam. So friends, before I start this video and tell you the secret strategy, I want to give you a disclaimer. It's okay to not know 100% questions when you sit for an exam as difficult as UGC net. Even if you have studied for months or if you are extremely confident, there will be a possibility that you will not know about 40% or 30% of the questions. I repeat, do not panic in this state. Understand that this state of not knowing everything in the question paper is very common for UGC net aspirants. In fact, I will tell you a fun fact. Even if the UGC experts or paper setters themselves appear for this exam, they will also not know 100% of the questions. Why is that? Because UGC net exam syllabus is very vast. What we know is like a drop of water and what we do not know is like an ocean. And hence, it's normal to not know every question. It's normal to not be familiar with every answer. Another important disclaimer I want to state is that no matter how many tricks or tips we talk about, nothing is a substitute for your knowledge. The more well-read you are, the more is the probability of you scoring high. Smart work is not a substitute for hard work. But yes, smart work can ensure that your hard work pays off well. So let's get started and see how you should be solving MCQs in your next UGC net exam. As soon as you get the question paper, you have to start reading it from the first question to the last question. The first step is to mentally divide it in three parts. All the questions must be divided into either of the three categories. Or another option is that if you have a rough notebook with you, there can be three columns in that rough sheet you can make and you can keep writing question numbers in each of the columns as you go through the question paper. So if you are well prepared for the exam, the first part will have about 50% of the questions. And what is that part? That is the part of questions that you are 100% confident of. The second part constitutes of questions which you are doubtful of. They will constitute around 30% of the entire question paper. And the last section will have about 20% questions jinka dur dur tak aapko koi jawab pata nahi hoga. Now friends, don't panic in the exam hall if this ratio is not exactly as I told you. For example, instead of 50% questions falling in the first section that constitute of questions that you are 100% sure of, you might find that in your case it is about 30-40% to 40 questions, which is fine, right? We all are different individuals and we all can have our own different cases. But whatever the case may be, whatever the proportion may be, the plan that I'm going to share with you in this video will help you score as high as possible. Friends, now once you have done this mental exercise, you will start attempting the questions. Please note that first you have to attempt the questions that you are 100% sure of. That means category 1, all the questions that you have written in the rough work falling in the category 1, you have to first solve all those questions. This will help you in two folds. First, it will boost your confidence. It will help you ensure that 30 to 50% paper is already done and now you only have a fraction of exam left. Secondly, this will have a very calming effect on your brain and it will also help you not get into the panic mode. It will give you that boost of confidence that we all need in the exam hall. Now, once you have done all the first category questions, the next step is 
to take on questions that you are doubtful of. This is category two. Friends, this is where you have to play Kaun Banega Karodpati with yourself. Remember how Amitabh Bachchan gives 50-50 lifeline to all the contestants and automatically two wrong answers would disappear. This is exactly what you have to do. You have to use the rule of elimination. Start eliminating the wrong answers. In a question when you have to choose one option out of four, you have 25% probability of getting it right. But when you eliminate two wrong options, you automatically go on to a 50% probability of getting to the right answer. So the next step is brainstorming the correct answer from two remaining choices. So once you have eliminated two choices, now the, uh, from the remaining two choices, you have to brainstorm and try to reach to the most correct answer in your head. Stay with me. Towards the end of the video, I will tell you what to do in case you are unable to decide the right answer from these two remaining options. Now let us go and look at those questions jinka aapko dur dur tak koi ata pata nahi hai. You don't know how to solve them. You are not sure of the question. You are not sure of the answer. The, these questions which feel alien to you, how to solve them? Firstly, don't stress over them. I recently read a book uh, called Mind for Numbers by Barbara Oakley. She defined our brain as a big part which consists of a conscious and subconscious part. So when the human mind is faced with a difficult question, it automatically gets integrated with your subconscious mind. So consciously, sometimes you're not able to get to the right answer. So our subconscious mind takes over and tries to find out the right answer. So I'll give you an example. I misplaced an important key somewhere in my house. I kept it and I totally forgot where I've kept it. Now when I realized that I've misplaced the key, I started searching for it. I kept thinking and looking for key in different corners of my house, but I could not find it. Then finally, I lost all hope and gave up on my search. And I decided to go out and watch a movie. And while I was traveling back home in my car from the movie hall, suddenly I was reminded where I have kept the key. Like out of nowhere, I was amazed how I realized where I've kept the key when I was not thinking about it. Aapke saath bhi hua right? That when you're trying to remember something, you're unable to. Then suddenly, aapke dimaag mein kuch aur aata hai, aapka dimaag kahi aur chala jata hai. And when you're not thinking about it, that is the moment when you finally get the answer. This is exactly what you have to do with the questions that you are not able to find a solution to. You have to leave them and complete the other sections of the exam paper. And if your brain has any related information stored in it, your brain will automatically give you the right answer by the time you leave the exam hall. But to decrease the possibility of such questions, check out our website arpitakarva.com. We have a bunch of courses for UGC NET English as well as for UGC NET Paper 1. We have also uploaded previous year papers on our website for your ready reference. These question papers are absolutely free of cost and available on just one click. Our courses are so well researched that we try to ensure that students are fully prepared and such challenging questions are pretty less. So you can find the details of our courses on the website. Please have a look and let us know if you want us to come up with any new course. So let's get back to our strategy. First, attempt the questions that you're sure of. Leave the questions you have no idea about and use the rule of elimination to tackle the doubtful questions. And as I promised in the video, here I am with two bonus tips that will help you solve questions that you have no clue about. Bonus tip one, a recent study revealed that most of the correct answers in competitive exams are either option C or D. So in case you don't know an answer and you want to do Akkad Bakkad Bambebu, choose either C or D. Do not, I repeat, do not use this strategy in case of those questions which you are confident of. This is just a strategy for questions that you have no clue about. And bonus tip two, let's say you have zero clue about questions from serial number 10 to 15. There are five questions in a row and you have zero clue on how to solve them, which means it's a continuous series, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In that case, if you're planning to answer using Tukka, then mark the same option for the entire series. So for example, you're marking option C. So for all the questions from 10 to 15, mark C. 
what will happen you will increase your probability to getting to the right answer because out of these five or six questions there is a fair chance that at least two of them will have C as the correct option. So this will increase your probability of hitting the right answer but like I said we have to prepare so that we can score good marks no matter what. For that hit the subscribe button because I am going to upload a series of videos that will tell you how to prepare for UGC net and I am also going to give you other tips and tricks that will make your preparation journey extremely seamless. If you have any doubts you can contact me on the number flashed on your screen and I shall be more than happy to answer your questions. You can also shoot a whatsapp message on the same number to get added to my broadcast list and you will receive all important exam updates, syllabus updates, important videos, questions directly in your inbox. If you want me to make a video on a new topic, do comment below and your wish will be fulfilled. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I upload study tips and other study material on these platforms for free. So that's it from my side for this lecture. I will meet you very soon in the next lecture. Till the time I meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.